Welcome back. Well, you've probably seen our next guest running up and down A1A from Fort Lauderdale to West Palm Beach. He's a real estate artist, a best-selling author, and he just returned from the Badwater Ultra Marathon in California. Frank McKinney joins us now with why you actually had a withdrawal from the race this year. Good yeah, morning. heartbroken this year. This is my 11th Badwater Ultra Marathon, which is a race that starts at the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere. Wow. Runs 135 miles across Death Valley. So 135 miles. It's hot here, but out there it was 127 degrees. Holy cow. Nonstop. Uh, you have relentless forward motion, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Talk to us about the heat and what you experienced out there, and uh, this was a record-setting uh, event for it that was. race. Yeah, I mean, the, the Death Valley holds the record of the hottest temperature in the world ever, 1913, 135, 136 degrees. Uh, this year we saw 127 degrees running nonstop for over 40 hours. You can imagine, you know, right. what it does to the body. Yeah. It was the hottest race. I've been there 11 times. It was the hottest race I've been a part of in those 11 years. And you had to just pull out of it. Sometimes the body just can't handle yeah, that. Yeah, I was so trained. I was ready. I heat trained. I have a, I have a treadmill in my sauna. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I was... <laughs> You're I, working. I've been, I've been training since Sweating. January, and I, I had to pull out at about 92 miles. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. How was that for you? How do you cope with something like that that you've trained so hard for? Um, and you know you kind of have to give up on it at that moment. Well, you get you get over the heartbreak pretty quick because yeah. there's another race coming up, right? Right. I, but I think we we feel most alive when we experience extremes for the first time. And my right. extreme might be different than yours, but I want to feel alive. So Death Valley, out there in July, running that kind of distance is. I mean, I do. I feel alive. You feel alive. Oh, and, yeah. and retracking from there. And you also raise funds while you're doing all this training. If you don't see them, it's 135 miles. So you're you're practicing and training up and down the coastline, but also raising funds. Talk to us about yeah, that. Yeah, so we built self-sufficient villages in Haiti. We've built okay. 27 villages in Haiti over the last 15 years. Yeah. And so I, I selectively choose to suffer in yeah. Death Valley, but the people and the kids in Haiti don't have a choice. Right. These children are eating mud patties flavored with bouillon and lemon juice. So I raise money for every mile I run. Somebody can donate a dollar. It's 135 miles. That will buy tens of thousands of meals in our orphanages in Haiti. Right. So I have a purpose. I'm not just out there for my ego and trying to finish again. I finished the race seven times, so I don't, I don't need another belt buckle, which I brought in here, yeah. but anyway. Um, yeah, and so, so I keep those kids in mind when I'm suffering. Saying, right. come on, Frank, they're suffering. You can. There's a purpose behind purpose. it. Absolutely. And finally, we just want to give uh, our uh, viewers a couple of tips, because right now a lot of people are training for different races for causes, and the heat is really a huge impact on, on runners. So we do have some tips that we want to pull up uh, real quick. Uh, as you see here, running in the heat, hydrate. What do you suggest hydrating with? Well, it's really important that you have that perfect mix of magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Because if you're hydrating, you're just drinking water, you're going to flush all that out of your body. Right. So Gatorade, not so much so. I mean, you, you, I'd take a, a product that has that even mix in there. And then as far as clothing, what is your best recommend, uh, recommendation? You know, out there you're wearing, a, I'm covered head to toe, so there's no birthday suit running, right? I mean, you're <laughs> covered head to toe, and it's all white, so it's right. reflecting the sun. Uh, getting into the right shoes. You know, Fleet right. Feet was a fantastic sponsor of ours this year, so yeah. I go there and they, I run in Hoka's. Yeah. I don't suggest dyeing your hair purple, though. Yeah. That isn't going to help no. you go any faster. So, kids, you're not seeing another version of Barney on the television this morning. <laughs> you might be confusing yeah. them this morning. Yeah, that, th this was something we did for my right. race. In the last race I finished, yeah. which was my last race, I had my hair purple, so I did it as a superstitious way. Right. It didn't everybody, work, so. everybody has their trends. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this, this goes away uh, tomorrow. All right. Well, Frank, thank you so much for coming on. And, of course, we'll have some more information about him on our website, cbs12.com, and how you can help, uh, help him raise money for the children of Haiti. We'll be right back.